What are you doing? Check out this spider. Yeah, it's a spider. If it bites me, it's radioactive. I could get superpowers like Spider-Man. Interesting plan. Personally, I always thought the best superheroes didn't need chemicals or serums for their powers. Batman. He's a well-adjusted member of society. Day job millionaire, night job superhero, and he gets loads of babes. Yeah, okay. But he did witness both his parents being killed in a mugging. Maybe if I brutally killed your parents and you witnessed it, you could dedicate your life to fighting crime. Oh, you need to be a millionaire as well. Are they insured? Good point. I'll ask them. There's just one problem with your plan, though. Bruce Wayne is a vigilante avenging the death of his parents by taking out criminal gangs. If you kill my parents, I will have to avenge their deaths by taking out good-for-nothing wannabe musicians. Well, that's a serial killer, not a superhero. <coughs> Shut your eyes. What? Shut your eyes when you cross the road. Why? Proves you're immortal. If you can cross the road with your eyes shut, then you're immortal. So, if I close my eyes and cross the road and I'm alright today, and I do the same thing next week and get hit by a car, then obviously I'm not immortal. Yeah, obviously you would be immortal because you'd have done it in the first place. So, it's like being immortal till you die. That's it. Immortal till you die. Then you've got it. Come on, let's cross. We're immortals! Yeah, immortal till you die. But you have to live your life as though you're immortal. You'd be too scared to do anything. Damn right. When I die, I'll be up there with all the greats. Tupac, Cobain, Marley, Hendrix, Marvin. Those guys are immortal. They left something for us. Music. That'll be some jam session. When I go, you try and get in contact with me. A seance or something. I can tell you what it's like up there. And you can fill me in on all the juicy gossip and who's on the way up. And you can fill me in on some top new Hendrix licks. Let's go. That's easy. Here comes one now. All you have to do is land right and you're sorted. A free ride out of here. You're crazy! I can do it, are you coming? It's the Swindon train, mate! What? If you get on that train, it's non-stop to Swindon! The kids in Brazil do it all the time. I think they climb on it when it's at a station though. They get elevators too. They jump down from the floor above. They can even jump from floor to floor. Sounds a right and half. How do they press the button to get it to go? I don't know. I guess it could be quite boring if everybody decided to take the stairs. What about base jumpers? They're nuts. Jumping off a building with just a parachute. Sounds a right laugh. I never fancied parachuting. I don't reckon I would jump. I think I'd tell them to take me down again. What if your plane was crashing? No, it wouldn't do it. I'd wait until it was just about to impact. Then I'd jump as high and as fast as I could. It'd be like stepping off a bus. <laughs> you watch too many cartoons. You'd get flattened like Tom and Jerry. I have to believe it though, us immortals. We ain't scared. You'd be immortal till your plane crashed. You'd be immortal till 1850 to Swindon. Mine's a far more glamorous way to go. Your headline would be, boy killed pissing about on the railway. Mine would be, man killed in plain tragedy. I'd have picked for something more like, little Danny, too scared to jump, even though he had a parachute. Funny, but nobody would know I was too chicken unless I survived and told them. The black box might tell them. Immortal? Immortal. Oh,
Right. I could do anything.